So this video is a guide on how to get the most frame rates possible out of the game called CSGO or Counter Strike Global Offensive. Now you know CSGO, this is one of the most popular games on Steam right now. You can get a lot of frame rates without a big loss in quality. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. But before we get to it, just a quick disclaimer. There are a lot of videos like this one. One of the most famous one was Low Spec Gamer. I'm not trying to copy him, but yeah, I've done a lot of research and his video is really good yeah so you can check them out if you want to but this video is a bit shorter and and this video is basically what i would do to get higher frame rates in csgo so without wasting any more time let's get to the first thing so the first thing you want to do is to get to the launch commands and paste some launch commands in steam uh, actually this would give you some great frame rates boost somewhere around 10 to 15 frames per second and of course you can change the resolution of the game you can go all the way down to 240p or even 140 44p but my favorite resolution is 640 by 480 but if your pc is that low end i guess you should go for something like 480 by 360p this would give you a lot of frame rates in return without any loss in quality actually except the resolution that you've changed so you've done that and you didn't get the frame rates you would want to have right uh, there is another thing you can do you can open the counter strike global offensive folder and then you get to csgo and then you open a folder called tfg and you create a file called auto exec.cfg so there is a user that have uh, made some commands that would give you high performance without a major loss in quality copy these commands and pretty much basically paste them in the auto exec.cfg file that you just created and then you save it but keep in mind that you have to add the auto exec.cfg command in the launch options first so you can activate this thing still if it's not activated you, you can get to the launch commands in the game itself and you write down a code or something like that called auto exec.cfg something like that you are looking at it right now and by doing this you have activated the commands and you will get higher frame rates somewhere around 5 to 10 frame rates so you are near 60 frames per second you should be somewhere around that still you haven't got a lot of frame rates and you still need more you are a really needy person there is the third and maybe the best way to get high frame rates for a major loss in quality actually okay so there is a program called Hiaglo boost but the gameplay you are looking at right now or you will look at isn't done using the aglo boost and that's because my pc is pretty capable i own an arcs 460 gpu anyway he aglo boost what it does is that you will lower down the quality of the textures and this will give you a lot of frame rates and this will make it even more consistent so the thing that you should do is install he aglo boost in whatever place you want to and then you go to he aglo boost folder and you look for a file called exceptions.ini so you open that document and you look for csgo uh, when you found it you you'll find something called load bias that thing yeah, I guess it's set at around 20 somewhere you just change it to one and this will lower down the textures and will make the game look really bad in terms of textures but it will give you a lot of frame rates for your turn something where around 20 25 frames per second if you watch the low spec gamers video you'll find that an Intel HD graphics got somewhere around 80 to 85 frames per second I think it's an Intel Atom PC I'm not sure of that and that GPU built inside is not that capable so if you have a capable GPU like an even a GeForce 210, yeah, this is a really low end GPU. I guess you'll be able to go around 60 to 70 or even 80 frames per second. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you liked that video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you found it helpful. And you can check out my channel and you'll find a lot of interesting videos. Consider sharing that video so you can help other people and you will help me. Uh, yeah, that's it. And if you have any question, leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.